Hey guys, Brad Gilmore here. Want to give a big shout out to our title sponsor, Walker Texas Lawyer. If you or a loved one have been injured in an accident, whether that be a car, truck, motorcycle accident, or some kind of other issue, hit up Walker Texas Lawyer at 713-552-1117 or walkertexaslawyer.com. Oh, Brad, what have you done now? Broadcasting live from Houston, Texas, and around the world, and around the world, TV host, best-selling author, and radio personality, Brad Gilmore, brings you a collection of conversations with stars from movies. Matthew McConaughey. Brad Gilmore. Mark Wahlberg. Hey, how are you? The legendary Mr. Christopher Lloyd. Christopher, how are we doing? I'm doing good. Great introduction. Television. Jimmy Fallon joins us this morning. Jimmy, how you doing, my friend? Good morning. Thank you so much, Brad, for having me. I appreciate this, bud. Kelly Ripper. Dad, thank you for having me. Comedy. Jay Leno joins us. Jay, how you doing? Hey, Brad, what's going on? Chris Tucker is in the building. Chris Tucker, good morning to you. Hey, Brad. Good morning to you. How are you? Gabriel Fluffy Iglesias. Good morning. Music. Lola Monroe. Thank you. Thank you for having me. The legendary frontman of ACDC, Brian Johnson, joins us right now. Brian, how you doing? Good morning, Brad. What looking at y'all give me funny lad. Grammy Award winner Maya joins us. How are you? And more. And more. This is the collection. Now your host, the the boat. CW39. Hey, hey how are you? I'm doing well. Congratulations on Time Bandits. I love this series. I feel like it was made for me, even though I know it's made for the world. We made it for you, but we didn't know you existed then, but we hoped you did. <laughs> well, you know, Jermaine, let me start with you. What I mean, when you think about Time Bandits, what was it about this story or property that stood out to you personally that compelled you to work with Taika and Ian to bring this to the people and to me specifically? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, it's one of the... I guess it would have been in the bunch of the first few movies I saw at the at the cinema, which were like Watership Down, Superman, Time Bandits. Watership Down, another dark uh, film. Um, a lot of dark films made that, um, that you know, kids. kids watched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dark, uh, the Dark Crystal was also one that was pretty scary. Dark Crystal, yeah. Oh, The Darkness is in the title. Isn't it The Dark Crystal? Yeah. You it's not The Crystal. No, no, no. Um, uh, it's, yeah, so so it has that kind of, um, for, for me, it's one of those things of it being a magical thing that I'm in, in, in this room and, and it's projected up there um, huge in, fr- in front of everyone and uh, has these great things. It's a, such a great adventure being pulled through time to, to these real places. Um, it was so exciting as a kid to watch that film. So I... You know, I was it was it was an easy one to to want to do. And and Taika, for you, you know, when when directing a pilot, the first episode of the show's got to hook everyone in. And I was wondering, with the catch with a pilot, is you have shorter time compared to a feature film. You have to establish the characters, you know, the plot, do the exposition more than you would in subsequent episodes. Are there any difficulties in trying to make sure you get everything into a pilot that you need to, or is it similar to working on a feature? Uh, no, you're, de- you're definitely right. You've, there's all that setup that you know they always want you to have, and um, uh, that yeah, that just eats into the amount of time you've got to you know to, to set up the story, but also to make it fun. And you know, I think once you once you get past that stuff, what was what was good is that we all we really needed to establish was that Kevin's life at home and at school, and the fact that he was a bit of a loner and loved history. And we get through that pretty quick, and then we're on the adventure. Um, you know, I think what we, what's good about how we've we've done, done the show is that we can keep checking in on those characters and his family characters, and have some of that development. You know, in, in subsequent episodes, don't have to do everything up front. Yeah, a lot of people say about pilots that they, they it's the one you have to get through these things. But I often like those episodes of things. You know, like uh, think of the first Black Adder, if you know that British show when he's like forming his personality <laughs> you know i like those i like those early things but i know that uh, perhaps i'm in the minority people usually have to get a few episodes in and uh to see what the show's like and if it, it's better with that with some tv shows that you know you hear about when they go you just wait you, you've got to give it a chance just wait until season four episode three <laughs> that's when it really kicks off and that's yeah, when that's you right. really get it 
Like, I don't want to watch it. Yeah, I was just gonna sixty-two episodes. Yeah, I'm just gonna like put, I put twenty hours into yeah. this, and then I'm gonna have a good time. Well, you don't have to worry about that with this show. You capture everybody from the absolute get go. My final question for you all is: Again, I'm such a fan of the time travel genre in general. The time travel genre, easy for me to say in general. Other than time, time bandits, travel was gender. there a in genre? <laughs> it was other than time bandits. Was there a, a a time travel story that popped up in y'all's conversations a lot that you used for any kind of inspiration or just a personal favorite of yours? Oh yeah, well, Terminator. I mean, obviously Terminator. Back to the Future is a you know very special one. Um, it, it, but I think like when we were writing, we had, there were a lot of discussions about time travel and about the logistics and you know what and you know. What you what was possible, what wasn't possible with time travel. Um, but you and Ian had a few um, discussions that went on for quite a while. Um, yeah, the other, other writer wasn't so into the you know Terminators and Back to the Future sort of paradoxes, but we, it just ignored it. He's not here. So. <laughs> 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 well, no, those, those, just, those movies, Terminator, Terminator wicked. Two, and yeah, Back to the Future, they're so fun. Yeah, and um, hopefully playing with some similar but different enough ideas uh, in this, which, which the the movie doesn't do so much because uh, it's, it's shorter. You know, they they're, they're, they're doing other things, but um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I love time travel as well. If you don't, if you hate time travel and uh, and can't like buy into the idea of time of time travel in a show, I don't know if you're going to love this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think everyone's going to love this because it's fantastic. I really enjoy it. Thank you so Thank much you. for your time, gentlemen, and congratulations again on a great show. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. Man.